How do you prepare your containers for planting of your backyard crops or crops in your backyard garden? So in this video, I'm showing you how to prepare the containers from water bottles or drinking bottles. And the specific bottles which I'm referring to here, it's the 18.7 liters Ruenzori brand water bottle. So this Ruenzori brand, of course, is a Ugandan product. You can see there, product of Uganda. So that's the container I'm going to show you how to prepare it for planting of your crops in a small kitchen garden or a backyard garden as most people may prefer to call it. So each of these full container, like that one shown there, will usually give you two containers for planting your favorite crop. That could be your small crop like uh, maybe onions or maybe coriander or any other crop that can sustainably do well in a container. And of course that bottle there is a similar bottle like the one I've prepared here on this my small backyard garden where I've planted onions as you can see that and some corianders in another bottle here. So basically what you do is after you have used your bottle of Ruenzori water, then it's possible to cut that into two pieces so that you have two planting spaces or two planting areas for your favorite backyard crops. So let me show you how much distance or how much of uh, uh, space you are supposed to cut your bottle container. So here, I've taken a tape measure, and you can see that uh, this is about 8 inches, right? This is about 8 inches. So you cut about 8 inches from the bottom, right? You cut about 8 inches from the bottom. And then the upper piece, right? The upper piece, which is the upper part of that bottle container shown there, you don't have to cut any other segment from there except that top narrower piece that top narrow piece that top narrow piece is the one which you are going to cut off using a suitable tool maybe like a, maybe a small hacksaw or even using a sharp a sharp blade so the piece that you're going to cut off from the top part or from the upper part is something that looks like this but uh, don't make a zigzag cut just ensure that your cut is relatively a straight cut so that you're going to see how I'm going to make use of that upper part, which I've cut off the narrower part. So let's see. After cutting off the narrower part from the top of the container, what remains with you is a piece of container that looks like this piece of mine here, right? It looks like this piece of mine here, whereby you can see at the bottom here, it's not balancing on its own, but instead I've cut this container, which is basically a container of detergent. And this is a White Star Magic detergent container. I've cut it into half. So after cutting it into half, the upper piece of that detergent container, you place it on the ground or on the surface where you're going to uh, place your container and then you place your water bottle container on top of it so the reason as to why we eliminated that narrower part is to ensure that that narrow part does not interfere with the balancing of this container on the on the detergent container which we have cut into half now that implies that the detergent container will give us two bases to support our top part of the water bottle and also the water bottle has given us two pieces of or two spaces for planting our crops. So the other uh, piece of the detergent container is there on the other container which is inside on this row. You can see it there at the bottom there. That's the other, other piece of the detergent container which I've kept there. So after then, after you've done that, then you can then put something for blocking that hollow area that was on this your top part of the container and in this case for this container specifically i've used just an empty sack an empty sack like this one 
to block off that hollow area from the top part of here so that when you pour soil when you pour soil on top here huh, when you pour soil on top here it doesn't go straight up to the bottom but instead it gets prevented by that sack which have filled this space around that area from from this container to prevent the soil from running out completely so after you doing after you've done that then you fill up your container with soil but not to the top not to the brim ensure you leave some space right ensure you leave some space from the brim of the container and there's one reason for doing that the reason as to why we leave that space is when you want to uh, add some more soil later on after you have your plants have germinated to support the rooting system or to support the plant generally that space that you left is the one that you are going to add some more soil to support your crops there so basically as you can see the onions there they have just germinated for around uh, some weeks now so when i want to add some soil this space which i left on top right is the one i'm going to use to fill up the space uh, sorry to to fill up the soil so that to, to support the crops which i'm going to plant there so this other container i was just experimenting with it you can see it has soil inside of course with some weeds which can easily be removed by hand picking right i can remove these small weeds by hand picking but then it has some multiple holes at the sides which i experimented last time with planting coriander on those multiple holes so they didn't do very very well so for that reason i just didn't uh, plant anything on those multiple holes this time around i'm going to plant them maybe in another season maybe with kales or any other backyard crop so after you've prepared your containers like that then when you want to plant your seeds ensure that you use the correct planting height or the correct sowing height so that your seeds don't have to be overburdened by the soil on top of them so that whenever the plant is germinating or whenever the seed is germinating it does easily push off the seed the, the soil which is on top of it and then sprouts from the ground just as you can see these other corianders have germinated here right these corianders have germinated here so i'm going to show you how to make the holes for specifically sowing coriander because as you can see this other container and this other one they have coriander similarly this other one here also has coriander and this other one also has coriander so i'm uh, generally like coriander so much in my food and for that reason i tend to populate these containers with more coriander than any other plant like the onions you can see more coriander still here on the sacks and the sacks are spread all over up to that other area although some of them have already gotten a bit old you can see some more onions here they have, they have germinated well so they will be needing just to give, be given some more additional soil to support their growth and then to also enhance the bulbing or the size of the bulb because we know that when the the rooting system is a little bit more deeper in the soil then that's when the bulb forms very well so uh the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to put the soil sorry the holes in these two containers which have prepared the soil for sowing today and in making the holes for planting the coriander the amount of uh, depth of planting should be about one inch so don't plant so deep if you plant so deep the seed may not easily germinate so ensure that you measure about one inch of depth when you're planting your coriander so that the seed when it's germinating it can easily push off the soil above it in order to bring out the crop to germinate nicely like these other ones which have germinated here all right so let me bring my stick and then i show you how to make those holes for sowing the coriander here is the stick which i'm going to use for making the small holes on the soil which i'm then going to put coriander seeds in order to germinate them in these two containers which i've prepared with soil as i've previously described remember this container is a top piece and this container too is a top piece but i've supported them down there with the cut off uh, piece of detergent container like this one shown here right so they are sturdy there in the sense they are strong strongly supported there and that support is also 
enhanced with this other type of container on the edge so on the edge of the area which i'm growing the crops i prefer to put these containers which have their own basement uh, resting on the surface all right so i'm going to ensure that the soil is properly leveled out i'm going to ensure that the soil is properly leveled out so that this the sowing of the seeds is done on a uniformly level area so any small pieces of stone that could be in your soil ensure that you can quickly hand pick them barely with your hands just you don't have to use any tool to pick them off so with this stick right with this stick i'm going to now make several holes on these two containers then i'll bring my uh, coriander seeds and sow them inside the holes so observe as i'm going to make the holes and the holes don't have to have exact matching distance right they don't have to have exact matching distance and even matching depth as long as you are observing that the maximum depth of the holes is about one inch that should be okay for each of the holes that you make on the soil and it's usually recommended that you wet the soil a little bit before you can put so uh, before you can put the the holes reason being when you use absolutely dry soil then the soil does not easily make the holes instead it does uh, crumble up the 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 holes as soon as you make them in the sense the the holes collapse as soon as you remove the stick so ensure that at least the soil is a little bit damp before you do the making of the holes on your soil in the containers right so for this container we are done with the holes some of the holes as you can see they are not uh, uniformly spaced but it's adequate as long as you ensure that the depth of the hole is about one inch just one inch you can see that stick is not going far down right about one inch as the correct size of the holes so i'm going to do a similar thing on this other container and as usual as i told you earlier ensure your soil is leveled very well before you can make the before you can make the holes so this soil this uh, containers soil is also well leveled i remove a few uh, uh, small stones which i'm seeing there using my bare hands no problem all right so subsequently i'll start making the holes with my stick there and remember the soil has to be a bit damp it's not easy to make the holes on soil which is absolutely dry the holes crash off or the the soil collapses on this on the hole as soon as you just remove the stick so when you have the soil a little bit damp then it has the capacity to hold a bit onto the walls of that uh, whole area when you've removed that stick which you used to make the hole on the soil so ensure you maintain that depth as i told you earlier so that the seeds don't struggle really when you plant them they don't struggle to push off the soil on top of them so those are my holes now ready made right you can see the holes are multiple on each of the containers and remember each of those holes will get us two coriander plants because of the fact that coriander as a seed when it's germinating it brings out two plants for each seed right i'll demonstrate with this one here I will demonstrate with this one here. You can see the coriander has germinated with two plants per seed. Okay, same here. The coriander has germinated with two plants per seed. So each coriander that you plant should give you two plants per seed, with the exception that some seeds will not give us the will not give out the two plants. Still, it's okay as long as you have adequate coriander for your own consumption at home so i've prepared these two containers let me then bring up the seeds which i'm going to sow in these two containers now this container is also not yet planted but i've not made holes in it for today because the soil is too damp now when the soil is too damp i don't prefer to sow in it because of the fact that the soil seems to uh, seems and tends to be a little bit soggy in the sense it is more filled with with water and i don't prefer to plant my seeds when the soil is still so soggy with water like that i prefer that it be a little bit uh, just wet but not so 
so soaked with water like this other one so this other one possibly i'll plant it after like either one day or two depending on how i will observe the consistency of the soil after that time frame so let me bring up the seeds then i plant them in these holes which i've prepared in those two containers okay so the coriander variety i'm going to plant in this my containers is this uh coriander variety which is called as coriander multicut and it is um, packed by this uh, company which is called as continental seeds of course it's from kenya you can see the contact details there it's packed by or packaged by continental seeds which is from kenya so i'm going to put a few seeds on this paper here then i remove them them one by one and plant or sow them in this my two containers here so I'm going to do that with my right hand briefly okay so you put some seeds on a pepper like that ensure they don't fall off All right those should be enough in case they are not enough of course they are still more remaining on the pack so after putting the seeds in a pepper like that then you can then proceed to actually plant them or sow them one after the other in each of the soils sorry in each of the holes which we have prepared in our container so one seed there you can see it's there green color and this green color uh, of the seeds i like it so much because of one important factor it easily helps you to identify which holes you have already put the seeds and which holes you have not yet put up the seeds in your container so I'm going to continue with that process of putting the seeds one after the other in the holes within the container. And remember, as I told you, the, the green coloration is an advantage for the farmer because of the fact that you can easily look into the holes and see which hole is not having actually a seed and then that will mean that you can then pick up a seed and put in that hole uh, immediately so you can see all my holes now have seeds right all my holes have seeds you can see all of them they have seeds there so i'm going to do a similar thing for the other container too right a seed in each of the holes and as i told you earlier the planting the depth of the hole should be about one inch to prevent the seeds from struggling to push off the soil on top of them when they are actually germinating so you can see one seed has fallen off from the sorry has fallen off from my hand onto the surface but i'm going to use another stick to just push it back into the hole there so that we don't miss that plant from that particular seed each seed is potentially a nutrient in your in your food so don't waste any seed possibly so i'm going to use another stick to push this seed gently into the into the hole there so as you can see here too each seed is now having sorry each hole is now having a seed right each hole is now having a seed so i have this other stick which i'm going to use to return a little bit amount of soil into each of the holes so as you've seen i'm not using the same stick which i used in making the holes but instead i'm using another stick very small stick to return the soil and for this particular stick I've ensured that the front part which I'm going to use to push the soil is slightly pointed so that it doesn't pick so much of soil at a go in returning that soil into the hole. So see what I'm going to do in each of the holes. Okay, oops, you can see another seed here. All right. Um, when you see that you've maybe uh, added the two seeds into a hole, there should be no worry with that because they can still germinate well and and uh, coexist in that same area where they've actually fallen two of them there's no crime but if you still prefer you can still have only one seed per hole but instead in case they fall two of them no worry because they can still survive so i'm returning now some soil into each of the 
into, into each of the holes and see the amount of soil I'm putting very little amount of soil reason being you don't want the seeds to struggle the the plant when it's germinating you don't want it to struggle in pushing off the soil on top of it so for that reason you just put a very little amount of soil in covering the holes that you have now put the seeds in so you push just a little bit amount of soil into the holes very little amount remember these are tiny plants when they are sprouting so they will they will not need to struggle so much with the weight of soil on top of them when they are actually trying to germinate or to sprout up very little soil on each of the on each of the holes and remember as I told you there's a reason as to why we didn't fill this container fully with soil right when we're going to start supporting the the coriander that has germinated we're going to add more soil into this container so the space i've left is just for adding more soil into the container right so i've i've added soil onto each of the holes onto each of the holes and now they are okay so i'm going to do a similar thing for this other container here and as you are adding the soil back in case you see a hole where you've added a little bit maybe a small piece of stone ensure that you pluck it off or you remove it off because of the fact that that stone will actually cause your coriander to struggle when it's pushing out upon germination so meaning that you please ensure you don't overburden the small seedlings when they are going to germ sorry the seeds when they are going to germinate with a lot of soil on top of them just a little bit amount don't add too much soil So each hole, as usual, ensure each hole is covered with some soil, not so much, just a little bit amount of soil, to just ensure you've covered the seeds to give them the required uh, conditions, conducive environment for their suitable germination. And the advantage of using a stick, as you can see, uh, as I'm adding the soil back, whenever I encounter a small piece of stone, I push it easily aside with with this stick which I am actually using in returning the soil right so the two containers are now fully covered with soil so I'm going to leave these containers like that for about one week or so then when we come back we shall see the amount of germination that has occurred to see if the seeds will have sprouted in my two containers this one and this one and it will be very easy for me to identify which seed which containers have put the seeds because of the fact that i have two other containers beside them which have seeds that sorry which have some plants that have already germinated so it's easy to know that it is this container where i've planted which is next to this one then it's also this container where i've sowed the seeds which is next to this other container here right so after about a week or so usually it's about uh, one week or about 10 days i'll come and show you how the coriander has actually germinated in our containers of bottled water the ruenzori brand of bottled water container this is the 18.7 liters as i told you earlier on which is a product of uganda as you can see that it's made in uganda so you can use any other bottle container as long as you do a similar process of making the containers ready for putting the soil as i showed you now that you have finished sowing the seeds in the containers i'm going to proceed and return these extra seeds into the original container of the seeds which is from the continental seeds made or packaged in nairobi kenya thank you so i'll come back after about a week to show you the amount of germination that has occurred on our two containers here this one and this one respectively okay so the last time we planted these uh, seedlings it was on uh, wednesday august 31st 2022 so and today i've come back on 17th of september 2022 to show you the germination of the coriander seedlings in our containers so as you can see not all of the seedlings have germinated yet or not all of the seeds have germinated yet but at least we have some results there 
you can see some coriander here all these are corianders right all these are corianders which have germinated from the seeds which we planted on the 31st of august 2022 which one was which was on wednesday and today being the 17th day of september 2022 we have some growth or some germination of this coriander seeds here and as i told you earlier the seeds will usually take about one to two weeks to appear from the soil in the form of germinates so here it has taken around 17 days to reach this level so it's not that they germinated today but i've allowed them to reach some good height so that it will be able to it will be possible to capture the seedlings very nicely in our video of today so these are 17 days post planting in the sense since we planted the seeds we have had 17 days elapsing and as i told you earlier the coriander seeds are in such a way that each seed will ideally give you two plants per seed so you can see here the germination has occurred with two plants per seed for this particular seed which i put on this hole but majority of the others they have already given us just one seed and i think there's another plant here there's another seed here which has also given us two two plants per seed you can see the stems there right so some of them will nicely give you two plants per seed including this other one here also you can see the two plants per seed but majority of them have just brought out only a single plant per seed so those are the two coriander uh, containers which i sold last time which as i showed you it, will, it was very easy to identify because they were located next to these other two containers here which had already planted with coriander earlier on and now they are doing very well so you can see the coriander is very, growing very well in the two neighboring containers here and remember this was the water bottle container the 17 sorry 18.7 liter water bottle container which i had cut into two pieces then i planted the coriander seeds in those two containers so as a bonus for the viewers i'm going to show you another container here which is not coriander this is not coriander but instead these are chili peppers the hot chili peppers so i planted them several days in advance before sowing the seeds of coriander because for them they take even longer period of time to actually germinate it can take between three weeks to even about one month to germinate the chili pepper seeds so here we have the seedlings now very nicely growing in the container there so i'll let them grow for some time then after which i'll be able to transplant them onto the uh, garden which is just behind me so i planted two containers of chili All right there's another one here plus that other one there so this one also has had good germination of the red chili peppers you can see the seedlings there quite many of them and the sowing process is almost the same but for this case i didn't put holes instead i just laid the i laid the seeds on the soil just on top of the soil then i covered the soil with just little amount of uh, topsoil so that it facilitates the warmth and suitable conditions for the germination of these uh, chili peppers right so those are the seedlings which we have uh, maybe after some time we are hopeful that these are two coriander containers after some time they will have also lush green coriander plants just like this other this other uh, uh, container which we have here in our two other containers which are nearby so the other containers which had onions you can see i've removed the weeds now the onions are doing quite well with time i'll be able to transplant those onions into the garden directly or i can leave them to continue growing in this our uh, containers which are just beside the veranda of this house here so thank you so much i hope that we'll be able to have nice coriander growing in that our containers there